Hello, Miller Driscoll Elementary, and happy World Read Aloud Day. I'm Kelly Bennett, a children's book author, and I wish I could be there with you in person to see your reading rock star outfits. Instead, I'm here in my office in West Hampton Beach. These are some of my books, and you and I, along with people all around the world, are taking at least 15 minutes today to read together. Thank you for inviting me to read with you. Um, some of you may know me from this book, Not Norman, A Goldfish Story. If you haven't read it yourself, it's available in your library and at bookstores. And this is a story about a boy who wanted a pet. He wanted a pet more than anything in the world. He wanted a pet so badly that he made lists of pets. He drew pictures of pets. He had pet wallpaper. He had pet pajamas. Finally, one day he got a pet and it was not the pet that he wanted. It was a goldfish. The goldfish was named Norman. And if you've read it, you'll know that through the course of the book, the two of them become very good friends and they do lots of stuff together. Well, Not Norman's was written, as you can see, by me, Kelly Bennett, and it's illustrated by Noah Z. Jones because I write the words. I imagine stories in my head and then I write them down and I, to share with children like you. But other people also imagine stories in their head and they create stories with art. Do any of you really like to create art? Well, that is what illustrators do. Illustrators like Noah Jones. So when Not Norman was all finished, years went by, and I kept thinking about those two friends, that boy and that goldfish Norman, and what were they up to now? And so years later, I created a new Norman book, and that's what I would like to read to celebrate World Read Aloud Day. If you'll allow me, sit back, and I will read the story, and I'll show you the pictures. And I want you to pay really close attention, because one thing illustrators do is they add all sorts of things to the pictures that have nothing to do with the words. And that's what Noah's in. Are you ready? Norman, one amazing goldfish. And the story starts right here with the end papers, because look at our little fish. What's he been up to? Well, he has been training. He's got a little sweatband. He has hoops. He's blowing bubbles. He's learned all kinds of tricks. One thing that's fun about writing your own stories is I get to put all of the characters I want to into the story. And into this one, I put two of my grandsons. One's name is Ben and one's name is Dylan. And I dedicated to the book to them and their cousins. It says, for Bennett, Dylan, Jack, and Aiden, the four Phineas Grands with Glugs. And right away the story starts. Look at Norman. He's in his little bowl. He has his little sweatband on. And underneath is a paper. And the paper says, Petorama, big event. Well, Petorama is sort of like a talent show for fish. Children, I mean, not for fish, for pets. Children and their pets all gather together to show off their pets and the tricks that they've learned. And that's what takes place in this book, Shall We See? It is published by Candlewick Press, and it came out last year. And right away, a look at the changes that have gone on. Has this boy gone goldfish crazy? He has a goldfish lamp and goldfish colored bedspread and the big old Norman in his aquarium, happy as can be with his little diver and gold Norman banner with starfish and fishes all over it. And tacked up on his wall, those two signs say, Got Pet, Pet-O-Rama. And the story begins. Norman is one amazing goldfish, and I want everyone to know it. That is why I'm taking him to pet Arama. We have our routine all worked out. First, Norman does his tricks, circles, and then bubbles, and then flips. Sorry, sorry, the pages are getting stuck. And for our big finish, Norman and I learned a brand new tuba song. Hit it, Norman, I say, and begin to play. 
Boom, 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 Right on cue, Norman starts dancing and singing. Glue, 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 glue. At a fish, Norman, I cheer. Just wait until everyone sees you. You'll be famous. He looks pretty happy, doesn't he? This instrument, in case you didn't know it, is called a tuba, and it makes that boom, boom, boom sound that you hear in marching bands and orchestras. Oh, wait, wait, wait. On Petarama Day, I wake up extra early. I don't want to admit it, but I am sort of nervous. Not Norman. He gobbles every bite of breakfast. The petarama line is super long. There are dogs and cats, rabbits, snakes, and lots of other animals. Most of the kids are wearing costume. So are their pets. I look at Norman. His orange scales glisten. You're so sparkly, you don't need a costume, do you, Norman? He shoots me a high fin. It's like a fish version of a high five. And look at those pets, you guys. And the kids in their costumes. There's a crocodile. I see a cowpoke there. And then way in the back, if you remember, those of you who've read Not Norman, there is our friend Emily with her snake, Jenny, the green snake. Once we're signed up, Norman and I go into the gym. Right away, we spot Ben and Dylan with their dog, Mustard. Hiya! Mustard does karate, Dylan says. What does your fish do? Lots of tricks, I say. Hey, fish, Ben calls. Show us a trick. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin flutters. Dylan and Ben laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Petaramas for good pets, says Ben. Not fish. You guys, are those boys being nice? No, they're being pretty mean. They even look mean, don't they? Poor old Norman. Norman is amazing, I tell them. You'll see. One by one by one, the judges call pets onto the stage. All of the pets look good, and many do tricks, but not any better than Norman. Just wait until they see our act, I whisper. We'll show them, won't we? Norman spits a mouthful of gravel. Look at the judges down there with their judging cards like in the Olympics. And back here, all these people in the stands cheering and waving. Look at this. We have us a pirate here with a parrot. And a girl with a little tutu. And I don't know what's up with this little turtle guy down here. When our number is called, Norman and I go on to the stage. The gym looks really big and crowded. That nervous feeling is back again, big time. I glance over at Norman. His scales underneath the stage lights are as sparkly as any costume. Just looking at him makes me feel better. I take a deep breath. Introducing Norman, one amazing goldfish, I announce. <clears throat> For our first trick, circles. Just as we practiced, I circle my finger. In the wings, a tutu, a poodle and a tutu twirls. Not Norman. My mistake, I say, trying to keep my voice steady. Ready, set, bubbles. Bubbles! A parrot squawks. Not Norman. He doesn't even blow one teensy blip. Come on, Norman. This is an easy one. How about a flip? One, two, three. My hands are shaking so hard I can barely snap. Up! Up! I can't snap either. Up! Norman hides behind his plant. Look at him hiding back there. I feel everyone watching. I give Norman a look, a hard look. His fins and flippers are quivering like crazy. And that's when it hits me. Norman isn't being stubborn. He has stage fright too. 
you know what stage fright is? Do you ever go up in front of people and you get that quivery, nervous feeling? Even though you might want to go, you get a little bit scared. Well, that's what stage fright is. Oh no, poor Norman. Don't be scared, I whispered. Ignore them and watch me. Let's do this together, just like at home, okay? I take out my tuba. Hit it, Norman, I call, and then I close my eyes and I give it my best. Boom, 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 bee. I'm starting in on the second section when Ben and Dylan shout, Hey, everybody, look! When I open my eyes, the first thing I see is Norman. He isn't lying on the bottom of his fishbowl. He isn't hiding behind his plant either. Norman is flip-flop, wiggle-waggle, dancing like crazy and singing. Glue, 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 glue. Then Norman performs every trick perfectly, just as we practiced. Circles and bubbles and flips. Add a fish, Norman, I cheer. The judges give Norman a prize. It's like I always say, Norman is one amazing goldfish. The end. I hope you liked it. And now, um, if you want to know more about me or writing or Norman stories, go visit my website, kellybennett.com. And if you look under the Ask Norman tab, you'll find all sorts of letters from fin pals of Normans asking questions because children will write him questions about anything pets and friends and school and family and sometimes about goldfish and writing and Norman always answers back. So have a wonderful wonderful rest of World Read Aloud Day. Congratulations on your reading rock star readathon and have fun. Happy reading. Happy creating. Bye. I can't turn it off.